Christmas is in the air and we're going to be creating Christmas cards today for our family members. Here's an example that John Lantigua made in 2009. I really like this because this is a reflection of his personality and the times. There's lots of uh, things going on. He used filters. Um, this is a wonderful composition. You guys are going to sort of replicate this idea and use it as inspiration for your own Christmas cards. Um, Let's do a quick tutorial. So let's say you wanted theoretically to add a Santa hat to you. There's a couple ways you could do that. You can simply download a Santa hat and when you do it, you're going to want to drag it to the top layer. Uh, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press Control T, obviously. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. Um, all right, Santa Bowl's got kind of a big head. But let's say theoretically we wanted it to look a little like that. I might drag it down a little bit so it's behind Miss Nelson Mason's head. I might press Control T so that it looks a little bit better uh, coming out this way. And now what I'm going to do is um, sort of fit it to his head because this does not look natural, right? Uh, so what I'm going to do again is I'm going to press Control T. And then I'm going to click this uh, warp mode. It's right next to the cancel button. And when I do, I can sort of drag it like so. I'm going to drag this over just a little bit. I'm going to bring this, this part up like so. And you're going to see that it takes a little bit of practice if I want to bring this down. Nice. Um, all right, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, the warp mode is a nifty way to sort of conform layers um, to existing images in your document. Um, I wish you the best of luck. I wish you a Merry Christmas. Remember, we're um, definitely going to focus on rule number three, working hard today. If you finish one card, start another. Good luck.